So today in this video, I'm going to talk about virtual entity in Microsoft Dynamics 365. This video will explain the whole process, how we are going to create virtual entity. And uh, in order to use that virtual entity, we should be having some database like SQL database or Azure database, SharePoint database, anything. So we, we are going to see the creation of database as well as how we are going to connect that database with the Microsoft SQL. And the third part will be how we are going to as integrate that Azure database with the Microsoft Dynamics 365. It will be divided into three different different parts so that to make it easy and simple. Now coming to the virtual entity. So uh, this in Dynamics 365 we have the concept called table. Earlier it was called as an entity but now they have changed it to table. So whenever you open any environment by default you will see in, on the left pane we have the tables and in the tables we have different tables already created like account contact leads and opportunity so many so these tables are provided by the microsoft dynamics 365 for for the for our easy use now uh, this entities they are basically divided into two parts one is system entity which are this uh, these are the default entities they are called as system entities another one is custom entities so this is a uh, entity which which we are creating as a user we have different requirements so we'll go and we create the new table or new entity so these are called as custom entities now in the whenever you create any table by default this custom table in custom table also we have two kinds one is standard standard entity another one is virtual entity so by default uh, it will take it as a standard entity if you go to the advanced options you will see that type is specified as standard <clears throat> so this is standard it is mainly used to uh, store the data and to play around the data inside the dynamics 365 let's suppose you have the leads or opportunity case anything so you want to put the uh, you want to feed the data inside that and you want to uh, delete update or create anything so all those things you can do with a standard entity because the data will be stored here in the dynamics 365 itself but now if i talk about this virtual entity then this virtual entity it will not be stored in the microsoft dynamics database it is mostly stored in some in the external data source like uh, sharepoint or microsoft sql or azure database we can consider so many are there so we can consider in external data source so what we are going to do is we are going to create a table here the scenario the basic scenario is like we are going to create a table here and we are going to integrate that table with the azure database and whatever we are going to we are going to perform the information uh, perform the operations from third party from external data so uh, from external data source like microsoft sql and whatever we do there it should be reflected here in the microsoft dynamics 365 but we should not be able to do anything from here because it is not allowed only now <clears throat> coming to the this entities or table this is uh, this entity or table it is it is like a collection of fields that define a set of data and the and the relationship so if i open here uh, just close it if you open the table we can see that there are different kinds of we have the relationship here and we have the different kinds of data type of data type of fields as well so this entity or table it's a collection of fields that define a set of data and their relationship to with each other it is same like SQL table. If you compare both the Dynamics 365 tables and the SQL tables, they both consist a collection of fields and columns that define a, uh, a data structure. Uh, like the same, we have this uh, data type and all uh, like option set, float, integer, string, those things. They are uh, existing in both the places and they are mainly used to store the data and manage the data. So now coming to the main part which is virtual table this virtual table it is like a custom table only it's a part of custom table that has columns containing data from external data source so if i show you to create a data see whenever you create a table we also have the option to create from the external data so suppose you have a external data source as sharepoint so you can click here uh, I'm supposing you have a SharePoint list where all the fields, columns, tables are existing. So you can come here and you can select your SQL, this is SQL Server or SharePoint, whatever, and then you can proceed. But today we are going to see it from the scratch. 
so create new table let's go to the solutions create sorry create new table power okay now as i told you here by default it is a standard so we are going to change it as virtual as soon as i change it to virtual here two fields will become mandatory for mapping the data so make it virtual now here we have this dynamic this plural name as well as external name so this here we have to provide the details of external data source like if i uh, give you example of microsoft sql if i open it sql okay so uh, there whenever we create any table by default it will be starting with a dbo right so we are going to give it here dbo dot uh, let it be dynamics <clears throat> okay this name should be matching in both the places external data place external data source as well as here it should be same so copy and paste same here and here we have the data source so as i told you we also need to create the data source and we have we need to create a database as well so i'll be covering that in the another another video as of now i'm just going to show you this part how we are going to perform so data source let it be as none and i'm just going to save it now why this is no one minute external pro okay so here we have to give this and i'm going to save it okay now here this table part is covered and uh, if you see we have different interfaces for uh, make power app.com and for the classic view it, it will be saved there are some problems just leave it here i have already created with the same name so once you create this uh, table now we have to whenever you create the columns there also we have to give the mapping of the field map so here if i go to columns see and give it as test only the main part comes here in the external name here we need to give the name of that uh, of the from the ms sql whatever the name you have given so suppose if i show you here i have already connected i have already created one azure database and connect i'm going to connect it here so this is for the virtual entity part only So we'll be having here different kind of here we have database and in the database I have created some tables. Let me just cancel it and go for the details. We have different one ticket details. Okay. So for this one, if I go for columns and Suppose if I take the name, okay, so name, it is similar creating like a standard entity only, but in the advanced option, we have to give the external name here. I have given name. So if you see here in the database, this is external database where your data will be stored. That's what we are going to give the name here. If I'm going to tables. Here we have the details and tickets. So suppose I'm I'm trying to map this table. I'm trying to map what do you call this ticket details with this one with the details. So just click on this one. We have the columns and this name is there, right? So this name should be mapped with the name field. This email should be mapped with the email field and job should be mapped with the job field. Same here you can see we have it is here already name. That's what I have done with the job as well. If you go with the advance, here we have job. So if the external name is not matching, then you'll not be able to insert the data. Suppose if you're trying to insert any data from here, then in the CRM we'll be getting some error. Now coming to see, this is how we, we are going to create the virtual table as well as columns. Now the main difference between uh, this standard entity and virtual entity is that for data is stored in Dynamics 365 itself for standard entity but for virtual entity for this one data is stored here in Microsoft SQL we are going to update delete or do all the operations from here 
the other difference is that uh, the schema name should be given from here itself uh, like from here itself whatever we are giving it should be given from sorry schema name should be from microsoft sql sorry for the confusion now uh, here uh, one thing we have to what do you call that uh, take care that this standard entity supports all the features and functionality which is available in dynamics 365 giving example like we have workflows business rules plugins these are these are supported by the standard entity but these are not supported with a virtual entity one more thing if you are going trying to work with a virtual entity make sure that your uh, this uh, dynamics what do you call that 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 version is more than nine is above nine now we have what do you call, uh, uh, in order to do this virtual entity mapping and all we there are some prerequisites like data source like i have given here as a data source as microsoft sql or azure data source another one is data mapping which i already told you in the external name we have to do that is called as data mapping we also need to have the appropriate security permission so that we can configure to access this to external data source and all and that it should have the version of 9 plus now uh, here this you can you have already seen this table is a virtual entity i have already also created one app oh, no one more thing here i'm going to show you how we can create the virtual entity in uh, in classic view so if i go for the customization solution go to the solution now here it is not exactly like the previous one here we have some checkbox which needs to be marked so go to entity give it here as test and now you can see here we have the checkbox for virtual entity so you have to mark this one if you are trying in this interface and this is nothing but the same dbo dot test and here also same thing now here we have we should be having data source so this data source you can see demo dot to demo for virtual table these things i have already created one this one i'm going to show you in the another video where i'll be creating the database as your database and then i'll be uh, creating the connection with the microsoft sql and then integrating both the places so till then uh, let's see in uh, part two for more bye